Okay, hello everyone. So, um, my name is Mr. Yorkalino. Please hit the subscribe and like button. Yes. So, I have a class here, we have a V9 class right here now, and we're going to be doing a two point perspective again. Okay, so we've already learnt some of the basics of two point perspective. Now we're going to get into sort of like their sections and cutting and, and making things. So we are making a kiosk right here. So I have an A3 page right here and we do know already that if we measure down from the top down, 150 millimetres, we find the centre point of our page. Okay? So measure here from here to 150, put a dot and then come across the page here and go from one from zero 150 and put a dot there as well. Okay. Now, just note that I'm using a 2B pencil up on my screen here so the document camera can, can record this. You should be using a 2H pencil. Okay. All right, so here now I'm going to draw a line from one dot to the next. And remember that I'm putting a lot of pressure on my ruler so it's nice and white. My, my fingers are nice and white. So there we have the horizon line, HR. Okay, and we also have here VP1, and then we have here VP2. Okay, now the further out your horizon line and vanishing point, sorry, the further apart your vanishing points are, the less extreme your perspective fall off is going to be. Okay? So if you want something that's a little bit more real world believable, you draw on a larger sheet of paper, okay? So we are at A3 size now, we'll be fine, okay? So other things you'll need now is your right angle triangle and, um, and what we do here, now you can use a draft machine by the way if you wish, and, um, this class has the option to do it and everyone's a bit sort of scared to use the draft machine, oh well. Okay, so first of all, what we do is we get our square and we put the square right up at the bottom of the page. Okay. Now, we don't have to be centred horizontally at all. Okay. And I'm just going to draw a line, a rough line from about here somewhere to about down here. And notice that on purpose, this is smaller than this line here. Okay. So this line here is a little bit longer than this line here. I'm doing that on purpose, okay? I'm doing that on purpose because when it comes to um, finding the centre point of the structure, the horizon line is going to get in the way. Yep. Okay. So um, that was just the stuff I remember asking about printing. Okay. So make sure that this line is a little bit longer at the base. I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to really show it off as being a little bit longer down there. Okay, now this video is going to go a little bit longer than 10 minutes obviously because we have a full thing going on, okay? All right, so we all know how to do a basic perspective. Okay, now I'm recording this so you don't need to record it yourself. Okay, so here I'm going to go start off vanishing point one. Remember use my finger as a pivot point. Okay, and bring my ruler up here, and I'm going to draw a faint line back into the distance, a faint line to the back. You can just make that out. Um, I think YouTube's going to compress this to bits, so I might need to do it a little bit darker. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go to vanishing point two, remember, and pivot up, and go there, okay? And we're going to draw a faint line going down, okay? All right, next up, I'm going to do the top now. So I'm going to put my um, rule up against the vanishing point two, draw a line up. I'm going fast because I want to make sure that you can sort of follow along, pause and rewind and stuff later on. Okay, there we go. And now um, I go to vanishing point one there and bring my ruler up and then draw a line across. So you do know how to do this already. Okay, you do know this. You've already had an introduction to, one point, to point, two point perspective. Okay, I use my Square again to stop my structure from being going on forever and I draw a nice vertical line going down. Okay. And then I go to the other side and do the same. 
Making sure that my vertical line is absolutely vertical. Might really make this long, actually. Might do this a little bit longer this time, just to show you the fall off a bit more. Okay, there we have it. Okay, so now to make this whole thing more simplified, I can now erase some of my horizon line. Okay, now remember that if you erase your entire horizon line so you cannot see that you've ever had a horizon line there, your teacher might confuse you uh, to have not um, drawn one, okay? So here I'm just simplifying my structure so I don't have the horizon line there distracting me. Is that cool? Yeah? All right. So, to dissect this, right, which means that I'm going to cut this in half and quarterize it and do stuff, okay, now. So what I do is I get my ruler and I'm going to go to this point here, to that point there, remembering that if I have a flat rectangle and I want to find the center of this rectangle, I draw a line from here to there and there to there and I find the center point of my rectangle and I can go further and I can dissect it even more and I can draw a line from there to there and I can find this, the um, dissection there too. I can also draw a line across the um, there to there and also across there too, across this one as well, whoops, I stuffed that one up, there across there. So I can dissect a thing fairly heavily, okay? So here I'm going to do it right now. So I'll go across to this top corner down to the other corner there, and I draw a faint line there like that, okay? I come up this way, and I draw a faint line from one corner to the next corner here. Okay, in perspective, remember that I can measure only the front edge. The rest is perspective fall off, and as I explained early in another video, okay? All right, so this here is the center. So now I'm going to get my square and I'm going to put my square right up against the bottom of the page, okay? Make sure it's nice and vertical and I draw a vertical line going down, a faint one going down, okay? So you see here now, I've dissected, I can find out the center vertically and both and horizontally as well. So I can get my ruler, vanishing point to pivot up to where the intersection is of the X, and I can draw a line from here going back to just, just to the edge of this. I don't need to go all the way back because this is all I'm concerned about, not any lines through here, which makes it more confusing. Okay. At any stage, you can go back and erase some of these useless lines now, because they're not serving a purpose anymore. Okay, so just erase it at those points there, so you know that this is the structure I'm concerned about here. Okay, is that cool? Yeah. If you're sort of a little bit lost, you can rewind this and play this forward and stuff another time, okay? Right? Okay, so, to dissect this even more, I go, and draw a line from here down to here. So do that now. From here to here. And then I go and do another line from here to here, so here to here. Okay, and you see now that I'm really dividing it up, okay? And just to prove a concept, I can do the bottom one as well. So from here to here. And you probably guessed it now, from here to here, yeah? All right, so we'll do that. All right, there we go. So now that we have all these X's and stuff, all right? Now, remember, this is the division of half. So any time you divide this other side, this front half, you should, you should also divide the other half as well, okay? Just to keep your mind knowing that you've dissected X amount of times, okay? 
All right, otherwise you sort of get a bit confused. I'm gonna get my right angle triangle and I'm going to draw a line going down through the guts of those intersects there. And I go across, and no, 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 okay. And we draw a line going down this way, okay. If you haven't done so yet, please um, hit like and subscribe. And also the notif notification bell, which is um, somewhere around here, I think, or somewhere down there, I can't remember. Okay, so it's somewhere there, isn't it? All right, so next up, we're gonna draw a line through the guts of these intersects here, okay? So from vanishing point to draw a line from vanishing point to right through the guts of those X's there. That's all right, you can rewind this, I can help you out individually. I've got one person that said they've given up. You're too busy giggling. Right, and then we do there too, okay? So we have this structure. Okay, so for now, this is a point where you might want to pause and then rewind and watch this a few times over, okay? From now onwards, we're going to be creating our kiosk. So now we have enough divisions to create our kiosk, okay? So, proof in the pudding here. I'm going to now put really excessive dark lines down now, okay? So now I'm going to divide this up and create a, um, a um, what's it called? A counter and a signage top, okay, to my kiosk. So I'm gonna go over to my vanishing point to go up here. I'm going to put in a nice thick dark line. Can you see that nice thick dark line there? Okay, it's a final line. I'm also going to go now and put a line across the bottom here. Um, this, um, this video is brought to you by Department of Education and Training. Okay, please, um, please also subscribe to that. Okay, there we go. So this is the base of my, um, my counter, okay? Now, you notice here I haven't done anything here because I'm going to relate lines going back from these lines here, okay? So I'm now gonna to go to vanishing point one, up to this point here, okay? And I'm going to draw a final line across there like that, okay? So that's the base of my counter. And now I'm also gonna do the top of my, um, my signage bit, okay? So vanishing point one, and you guessed it, up to the top there. Okay, and here I've got a nice final line through there. Okay, and I'm going to go to vanishing point two. I won't do the shenanigans -no 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 that time. There we go. Okay. All right. So you can see now that it's really taking shape. I'm now going to put just simply put darker lines in. Okay to finalise some of these shapes here, okay? Okay. All right. And I'm also gonna put those verticals in now too. That's okay, I'll, co I'll come around and help you all, the ones that have given up. So just as a reminder though that um, I've also, I've already shown students how to, how to do this. I'm just simply doing a cleaner one this time. Okay, because they wanted me to record it. So that's why I'm going a little bit faster than I would normally do it. Okay. Okay. Hello Vika, if, you, if you're watching this. Okay, so... Um, so now we've reached this point, okay? So this is the point where a few of you had trouble with it, okay? All right? The ones that were able to go further forward, okay? So this is how you can do the top of your counter. Okay, so this is like putting a lid on things. If I go to vanishing point two, and I go up there to that corner, okay? 
I can draw a line, a faint line across there, right to the back. And then I go to vanishing point one, up to that corner there, okay? And I draw a line going up there. And that center point, by the way, is just purely a fluke that it's intersecting with that point there, okay? Complete, um, absolute fluke, okay? So here, I'll put in my final line of my counter. Okay, and there we have it, a simple um, top area where my signage is going to go, and I've got my servery space here. Okay, to simplify this out a little bit more, I'm going to erase this line here. So you can see that those areas there are floating, okay? So now to really improve your kiosk, you can watch my other videos, okay? However, what you need to do now is, since we have divided this space in half and things, you can now use other methods to put arcs in of things like that, okay? And I'll show you in another video if you like, okay? That is all for this one. Okay, thank you. Bye. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Bye. Say, say everyone say bye. 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 bye.